Well, let's talk about Parsec Cars. They're a band from China. Um, they played, you know, they, it seems like they play New York pretty often. For some reason, they fly right over LA and go to New York. And I think it's because their style of music um, is heavily influenced by bands like Velvet Underground and Sonic Youth. They're really into like a New York um, arty kind of style of punk rock. Well, I think it was called New York Trash or something like that. Didn't they call it that for a little while? <laughs> uh, it was kind of like this Bowery, uh, you know, uh, East Village type of sound mm -hmm. that, that they're they're kind of capturing. But more kind of when I hear it hear it, it's very sonic youthy to me and that's really cool. Yeah, there's a little bit of suicide, you know, it's very echoey and but it's it's very catchy as well. And um, this is you know, they say this is the gateway drug kind of to Chinese rock or punk. So we should watch a video or at least a little bit of it and it's Carsick Cars are a pretty hot band. Uh, you know, we, we know of China for having that gutter punk kind of a scene, mm -hmm. or a, I, I guess you would say something like, you know, real pop type of a right. scene, but uh, you don't know about this kind of like, this band that decides, okay, we're going to play something that's so specific in America at a specific time period even, and they do it quite well. And it's kind of cool to see that, because, yeah, we're, we'll hopefully find more bands that sound like Carsick Cars. Yeah, it's good that they're not caught in that time warp, because for a while, the picture of you know, modern Beijing would be Mohawks in yeah. Tiananmen Square, right? That's the picture every single magazine used to show that it was becoming more modern, the country. So it's great that these guys are busting out of that. They're not just, you know, stuck in one time frame, but maybe they're willing to try another time frame. <laughs> yeah. But this guy, like, he hangs out, you know, they've played with Sonic Youth. You know, he, he's talking with people like Blixa from, what, the Bad Seeds. You know, he, like, this guy hangs out with world-class rock people. So he knows his stuff, and he was, you know, very classically educated and that sort of thing. So he knows what he's doing. You know, he's not like some dummy or kid. Um, and they're actually going to play L.A. for the first time in a couple months, so I'm stoked about that. And let's leave you with... Um, Plus Minus? Yeah, yeah. This is let's another, do it. Yeah, this is a band that we've interviewed a long time ago. Um, they're friends of ours. They were in a band called Versus beforehand, or Chris was at least. No, James. James, uh, yeah. James, the lead singer, and uh, right, and then yeah. Chris is the other guy who. Um, Chris Jr. is the uh, drummer, I believe, right, and who makes the music videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So quite um, great. They went on a tour of um, the Philippines. Now every band goes to Japan, right? That's no big deal. But this band went back to the Philippines to play. So. Oh, because James Baliut is also a uh, Filipino. Right. So I asked him to you know take pictures and document it, and he did that for us, and you know, you know it's pretty rad. But this video is pretty great too. It's called "Steal the Blueprints," and um, we'll leave you with it. Until next issue. All right. Thank you. See you then. Hey, I never thought I'd find under layers of regret a recognition of the time. Before the boundaries were set When the pages were left blank The gold still buried in the soil And you could make a lot of noise With no connection to the past Flavor 
of the moth With all the expectations man Before they strike a single chord 